Well, May is the month we're on the move. Literally, this is when most of us move. So for National Moving Month, the Fox 5 I team, Zana Fowl, is here with advice on how to make it go as smoothly as possible. And yeah. I know the pitfalls of it because, you know, picking the wrong mover. I mm -hmm. get the calls, the frustrated mm -hmm. calls from you. I've gone undercover, too, to capture those rogue movers flat out ripping people off. So let me show you a few things you can do to make your move as uneventful as possible because that's what you want it to be. And you can start by just doing something really simple. Get recommendations from your friends and family. Ask them how it went. But still, once you get that name, you still have to do homework, like making sure the moving company is licensed. Now, if you're planning on an in-state move, the Georgia Department of Public Safety has a list of licensed movers and their histories. And if it's unsatisfactory, well, you're gonna know why. In addition to checking with the state, cross-check with the Better Business Bureau, the Georgia Movers Association, as well as the American Moving and Storage Association. It's important to check all of these, as well as this one. It's called movingscam.com. Because many rogue companies, they do this. They'll lift the name of a well-established moving company, and one of these groups is bound to catch that. Now, if you're moving out of state, the rules are just a little bit different. Note that at the bottom of your screen, you're gonna see it here because it's a long name, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. Look at that. What you'll wanna do is read up there on insurance requirements and required participation by the company in dispute resolutions. Uh, I know, I just gave you a whole lot of names, so be sure to check out the story. It's on my Facebook page and uh, Fox, uh, Dana Fowl Fox 5 and fox5atlanta.com. So it's already there. I want to see you undercover. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to mess with undercover, Dana. Absolutely would not. Would I not. enjoy a little undercover from time I'm to time. I'm sure. I'm sure. Very cool. Okay, so let's talk about red flags that we need to be on the Yeah, you got to be careful when a mover does a couple of things. If, if they give you an estimate for a move without seeing your house, and when you get that contract, you need to make sure there are no blank spaces for them to fill in later after you've signed it. And that's a thing. Be wary of that. If they won't show you their insurance paperwork, you got to move on. And if they say, ah, it's okay, I don't really need a license, again, you have got to move on. Important. So there, there's homework you have to do. And let's, I mean, it's not just, you know, your mattress and your end table. They are moving your childhood pictures, mm -hmm. everything, uh, all the mementos, all those things that those are the valuable things yeah. that you can't get back. You can get, a, you can get a new bed. Sure. Okay. Important questions to ask. Mm -hmm. Important research to do. Like you said, okay, stick around. You need to okay. be here for these stories.